Folks, it's a short video on how to remove the spare wheel from a Volkswagen transporter. Um, I'm doing this video because a few months ago I did see on social media a bloody helicopters. Um, so on social media someone said they'd used an angle grinder to cut one of the bolts. You don't need to, so let's take a look. Okay, so that darn helicopter is out of the way. Let's have a look. So on the bottom of the transporter, here's the spare wheel slung underneath and at the end of the bracket here, you have two bolts. You put that there. This one can be totally removed. This one, there's a little groove. You can only undo part of the way it will still stay connected to the van. So the idea is that uh, get this bugger out. I've already loosened this one. Should have had a ratchet, but not one. This one here helps if you use some copper grease when you finish with the diamond thing. Well, just had to get the right anyway. Quite long bolts here. Better not drop it on my phone. It's a 19 millimeter, same as your wheel nuts, um, so you should have the equipment to take it off. That's that one. So this one here stays in place. Just need to loosen that bit. So, like I said, that one stays in place. Now you've got to give it a good kick to the, to the side there, to the right. And bear in mind, it's got a, tire, a wheel and tyre there, so it's pretty darn heavy, and that wheel fall down pretty swiftly. So make sure your legs and everything are out of the way. Let's have a go. Okay, it's gone just past the groove there. Come on, you bugger! Oh, boy. I guess you could use a hammer, might be useful. Because I'm a bit lazy. Like that comes down pretty swift, so like I said, make sure you're not in the way. Refitting as the original bolt, I think I stick a bit, stick a bit of copper grease on it was a bit rusted slightly uh, sticking to try and get the darn thing off there you go and now put it back Right. 
back on the bracket Make sure all the way up and then you got to lift that darn thing up you got to lift it up and hoop it right there show you. I remember so then you got a Obviously, so here we've got to put it back up. It does wear it way a fair bit. Uh, so I'm going to use a jack. Stick it in there. Put the trolley jack in. Okay. I just got to got to take it up and try and guide it through this big hole here, and then knock it across to the right here, so it's so it's hanging on that one. Is the third attempt trying to lift it before I had it the jack in the middle it just flexed the bracket so it wouldn't align second time I had it on the ed end here then it wouldn't quite align uh, I've got it just uh, here just at the bending part it seems to be lined up much better had a whack it with a hammer Going on better there, get any button on the lip. Okay, on the lip. Okay, so it's just there. This uh, groove is actually a slightly different height. So if I whack it, hopefully it goes on. Okay. Might be able to take the jack off, I think. Oh, you yeah. I'll try and take the jack out. It's supported enough. Oh, just. Okay. Uh, there, you bugger. <sighs> Wouldn't like to do this at the side of the road. So, see, it's come away from the big, the big uh, circle and moved over to the right. And now I can put the other locking bolt in. So lock up the locking nut and then this, what do you call it, supporting nut. Like I said, I saw one, uh, I think it was Facebook, someone had cut this one off. So it uh, doesn't sound very safe hammering down the motorway at 70 miles an hour, just this one little bolt there, it's on the side. And there's my nice spare wheel, new spare wheel. So there you go folks, that was changing spare wheel on a Volkswagen transporter. Hope you enjoyed the video, uh, not the most exciting thing to watch but uh, there you go. Uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already done. Uh, it may encourage me to do more than one video a year. 
Uh, anyway, uh, a big thank you to all my current subscribers. Uh, I started off these videos just as a bit of fun and recording for myself, uh, help myself remember what, what I'm doing. Uh, and I think one video has something like 12,000, maybe more, 12, 13,000 hits or views. Maybe it's only for a second, who knows? And I'm not sure how many subscribers at the moment, uh, maybe 70 or something. That's pretty good. Anyway, thank you very much. Uh, have a nice day. Bye. Hi, so it's a short video on how to remove the spare. Shut up. <laughs>